Hi there, welcome to Divine Fruit Life. My name is Sandra and thank you for joining me today for an um, episode of Smoothies and Scripture. So today I've got my smoothie right here. It's an acai, mango, um, banana, berries, coconut milk, peanut butter, and cacao nibs. So yummy. Mm. So, today I wanted to share a scripture that God revealed to me at the very beginning of my um, transition over to veganism. And I think it's one of the most important scriptures um, that we could reference when we reference a Christian vegan lifestyle and it's in Isaiah and Isaiah typically is referred to as a, a prophetic a prophetic book and this um, particular um, uh, section of scriptures um, is found at uh, Isaiah 65, number 17 through 25. And it's actually labeled New Heavens and a New Earth. And you can see it right here in my Bible. It's highlighted. It's pretty lengthy, but um, I'm going to read it so um, that we can get a clear understanding of what I'm referencing. So it says, Behold, I will create new heavens and, new, and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight, and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and crying will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not live out his years. He who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere youth. He who fails to reach a hundred will be considered a curse. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will the days of my people, my chosen ones, will long enjoy the works of their hands. They will not toil in vain or bear children doomed to misfortune, for they will be a people blessed by the Lord, they and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. But dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. So, this is speaking to a time and it's referencing a time in the future where even the animals will not eat each other anymore. And we will not kill and destroy and harm one another. We will not kill and destroy um, God's creation. Um, it's, it's basically describing heaven on earth and the thing is that people think, oh, well, this is sometime in the future. It's not now, but actually we have a choice at this time. We can do our best to help bring this new heaven and new earth onto this planet or, or we can um, just experience death to um, to move on to heaven or we could experience it here on this planet but the, the thing is that the choice is ours at this time we are living at a very important time in, 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 um, in this life and we have a choice so I truly believe that if we um, hold these words dear to our heart, these words of the Bible in Isaiah, um, that we can see, actually see this world 
manifest in our reality in this time and space dimension in this in this world and um, this is why I am um, so adamant about helping to create this world I want to see I would love to see this world um, in this lifetime or maybe just help create it for my son for the future for the future generations so I I don't think that if we continue to do what we've been doing that we will last on this planet very much longer so that's why I urge you to consider not supporting the slaughter the needless slaughter of animals and this planet and everything that God created because um, in the end we are sowing the seeds of our own destruction so I just plead to you to uh, consider um, abstaining from um, harming God's creation so, or just do the best you can I believe that um, God sees our efforts and he will help us to grow as a people as a humanity and that's it so thank you so much for joining me and for listening um, to the scripture and I hope you have a very beautiful fruitful rest of your day blessings